Hi guys, Offline Gamer here, back with another uh, Let's Play. Since you guys seem to like the previous one, I thought let's go ahead and do another one, even though I never planned it. As with the previous uh, Let's Play, there's also a version without me talking. So let's play another Animation Magic production. Zelda. And the Wand of Gamelon. The second of the Unholy Triforce games, although it came out at exactly the same time as Link the Face of Evil. So it's pretty much a sister game. Anyway, I'm not going to show the help since Zelda says exactly the same things as Link. So let's start the game. Zelda? Duke Onkled is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of Courage to protect me. Yeah, you don't this hear surely from me in a month. Helps. Send Link. Ampa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. You Yay know, for spoilers. Sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat an octorop. And way to go, Link, being all considerate like that. <sighs> A whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's alright. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Uh, sure you can, Link. Go ahead. Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. Yeah. All right, so we're off with a stupid plot. Anyway, there are three places again. There's Aru Ain, Ainu, whatever. Then we have Kobitam. And finally, we have Sakado. Sakado. So let's go there first. See, it's pretty much the same. I can't shoot now, though, since I don't have the power sword yet. The first house is uh, the shop, and we'll go there in a little bit. But first, let's collect, collect some rubies. The second house is totally dark, so we don't really can't advance there yet. However, in there is the power sword, so we'll go back there pretty soon. After we get the letter. Ow. And this game is uh, pretty interesting for me too, and third house is locked, since I actually never played this game as much. Let's go in the fourth house, which has our first scary NPC. Hello, dearie. Oh, just a minute. Ooh, zony sound effects. Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust, and I'll make it a magic cloak. Lady, do your nails. So we need some fairy dust. Anyway, I owned the, the Link, the Face of Evil, my cousin owned uh, Zelda's Adventure, but neither of us owned uh, this game, so I got this later on. So this is actually the first time I completely played through. The only time I actually played it was at a cinema, where they had this game set up and they had this that, that huge roller controller thing that, well, let's just say it didn't play very well. It was pretty much impossible to play with that thing. So time for some shopping. We have 37 rupees. Rubies. Damn it. Of course I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. He's even more scarier. 
Anyway, we need some lamp oil and some rope. This game actually has more. Uh, well, let's see what he has got to say. A few out of Sorry, rubies. Zelda. Not enough rubies. You'll have to wipe out a few more gorillas to get that. Anyway, this game has more use of the rope than uh, the face of evil. So now we're going to get the lantern at Kobe Town. to the face yeah it's hard to use that shield correctly see it seemed like it uh, got on the shield but it just uh, well, apparently went just over it anyway this game has more use for the rope but um, something that's less common in this game is that it doesn't have that whole snowball and fireball bullshit that the face of evil has uh, going for it let's go in here for the lantern and an impossible thing barrage of spears to dodge although you can duck under it if you don't you know duck wonk face first into the next one oops And we got the lantern. Now, I don't know if I noticed this to you guys before in the previous videos, but they actually got the color of the rubies totally wrong in these games. Red is one ruby, green is five, and blue is twenty or, or ten. Sorry. See, I'm so confused. We have a something. Which dies really easily. And here's the first place that I think you need a rope. I don't see how you could get there otherwise. To get the key so we can get into that house. Tiny person. Those darn Moblin have eaten everything. I give anything for an Arpago's sake. She goes from crawling by starvation to staring dreamily into the, the distance. Weird. Anyway, we completed our first level in our first video. I'm pretty amazed we made it that far. Next time, we're going to take that power sword, of course, now that we have the lantern. Let's save the game and hopefully the CDI will keep it saved and then we'll say goodbye and until the next video. Later.